assalamu alaikum students hope you all are fine this lecture is for class 5 ict chapter number 1 generations of computers a computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data it has the ability to store retrieve and process data nowadays computers can be used to type documents send email play games and browse the web it can also be used to edit or create spreadsheets presentations and even videos computers have changed over the years the evolution of this complex system started around 1940 with the first generation of computers and evolving ever since there are five generations of computers 1942 to 1955 is the period of first generation computer these were bulky and needed many people to operate them they contained numerous vacuum tube electronic devices that controlled the flow of electricity in a computer these were very big in size weight was about 30 tons J.P. Eckerd and J.W. Mosley invented the first successful electronic computer called ENIAC. ENIAC stands for Electronic Numeric Integrated and Calculator. Examples are ENIAC, Edwake, Univake, IBM 701, IBM 705, IBM 650. mark 1 etc they need lots of electricity so they get overheated and often broken down they were very huge they were equivalent to our room and they can perform 100 instructions per second magnetic tape was used as storage device in first generation computers 1955 to 1964 is the period of second generation computers they were based on transistor instead of vacuum tube they were smaller used less electricity and were more reliable john barden william britton william shockley developed second generation computer at bell laboratories IBM 400, IBM 600, CDC 3600, Honeywell 400, Univac 3 are examples of second generation computers. These were smaller than first generation computers and used magnetic tape as storage device. They performed 1000 instructions per second. 1964 To 1975 is the period of third generation computer. These computers were based on integrated circuits or chips, ICs. IC was a single component containing number of transistors. Transistors became smaller and became part of a silicon chip called a semiconductor. silicon chip can carry electronic signals that can read and execute billions of instructions per second computers use chips to store and process data in the main processor third generation computers consisted of main frames built to meet the needs of large organizations and mini computers which were smaller cheaper and required less electricity they were more efficient than previous generations jack kelvin designed the integrated circuits during 1960s jack kelvin and robert noyes were developers of third generation computers
IBM 360, IBM 370, Univac 9000, ICL 2900, PDP 11, PDP 8 are examples of third generation computers. They were smaller than previous generations. Magnetic tape was used as storage device and million instructions per second were performed by third generation computers.